Daniel. Good to see you again. Today we are going to talk about directory services. We've so far done a whole bunch of videos on identity, ranging in from what is identity? Authentication. Authorization. Federation. Self-service. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to talk about directory services. We are. <laughs> so, Alan, let's start off with what is a directory? So, in order to really understand a directory, we've got to go back about 25 years, back into the days, the dark days of Netscape. Really, what we wanted to try and do was to have a database that yes. we could store users in. Mm -hmm. And at the time, we were living in these problems of having constrained machines. We had low processing power, not much memory, relatively small disks. Yep. So we needed to have a simple, easy to use database that we could store information about users in. Mm -hmm. right? And that's really the history behind directory. It's now, an underlying data store. It doesn't just have to be users though. No, no. You can store anything you like in there. It is actually a database. Mm -hmm. And our products use it for storing things like tokens, OAuth tokens, SAML assertions. Things about users, devices, and things. Users, devices, and things. Oh, it will go into the directory. OK. Um, so that's cool. So where's it evolved to? What, what's, what's going on in well, the world? Well, the, dire the directory basically is a, is a key underpinning towards identity. Mm -hmm. right? There's most of the directory, well, most of the identity vendors have some form of directory that they talk out <laughs> to. Um, the design of the directory, unlike SQL databases, mm -hmm. the design of the directory is designed to allow for massive scale. Mm -hmm. It's got the basic assumption that the underlying data is simple. Mm -hmm. You don't have a lot of join tables and weird things like that. So making queries can be very simple and quick. Got it. So when you say quick, you're talking about like massively fast reads. Massively fast. We're talking 40,000 reads per second. OK. And that, that gets to the, the point of like when you're authenticating, it could be authenticating at 20, 30, every, every authentication many, uh, request has to hit the directory to find out your username and your password. So performance is essential, particularly when you're talking it about is. mission critical applications. And when you're talking about <laughs> millions or tens of millions of entries. So let's go with that then. So when you're talking about a directory and you're talking about that in an enterprise, enterprises are global. Mm -hmm. So how do you handle data that might be in North America or EMEA or APJ or who knows where? Well, basically you've got to copy it. <laughs> And the way the directory does <coughs> that is it uses a technology called replication. Okay. So what replication does is each one, and here we've got three different directory stores, mm -hmm. each one of them basically has a diary, a mm -hmm. journal. Mm -hmm. And it keeps track of where it is in the update process, what it last modified. Mm -hmm. And so utilizing that, when one of the directory servers changes something, it can notify the other ones, and it's got a specific date and time or a, a number, a log of what it's changed, mm -hmm. and can therefore propagate that out to all of the others okay. and keep them all in sync. So essentially, you can replicate your data across the globe. And you can replicate parts of your data. That's where I was going to go. So with, with uh, things like uh, different laws for different countries, like Germany, you might not be able to replicate certain data outside the country boundaries. Absolutely. You can, you can choose. What? Or you might have an internal store with all of your employees in it and an external one that only has phone extension. Okay. So we what, so, so far we said it's a, a, data, a data store for all of your identity data. Mm -hmm. It's focused on massive scale, really, really fast reads. What about writes? Has it evolved around writes? Writes have always been slower. Mm -hmm. One of the problems is that directories are built for speed and therefore they've got lots of indexes. Mm -hmm. And it's always been traditionally slower to update those indices. Mm -hmm. It's been getting better. So right now, the writes are getting faster and faster. They're still reputed to be slower, but they're getting better and better as right. engineering happens. But what you really care about with the directory is read, 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 Absolutely. read. Okay. And if and you think about it, authentication, you log in hundreds of times and change your password once. Mm -hmm. So the reads are much more important than the writes. Right. Got it. Makes sense. And then it, we, we have LDAP here. What's, what's LDAP? LDAP is the protocol that stands for Lightweight Directory Access Protocol. Okay. Um, interesting thing about that is that it's a well-known protocol uh, with the, the older generation. Yeah. The younger guys are using REST. So folks like you know LDAP. Absolutely. I Thank know, you. I know REST. <laughs> exactly. Okay. And so what we've added with in our product is the ability to talk REST natively. Got it. So REST or LDAP can be used to speak to the directory. Absolutely. Very cool. So it is truly the foundation, the pillar it of is. identity. Okay. Well, with that, appreciate your uh, 
your history. input and history on the directory. <laughs> and thank you, John, to our cinematographer who's zooming in very close to my face. <laughs> Take care. I appear to have lost Daniel. <laughs>